During the commission of the crime, did Aaron Robinson commit a battery against Robert Ortiz? Yes. Was the structure entered a dwelling? Yes. I need a jury. As to count three of the indictment, find as follows. The defendant is not guilty. So say the all day to this 22nd day of October, 2020. And you saw that reaction. There was more reaction from that defendant. He was not stoic in the courtroom after the jury came back and, and found that, yes, you are a murderer and you will be going to prison for the rest of your life. It's all now being realized. You know, it's taken six years to get to this point. This case has taken quite some time. Uh, you had stand your ground hearings. You had a lot of things that were taking place, but it happened today. Um, his family was there today to support him. And they stormed out, not stormed out, but they left the courtroom. They were upset as well. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. And, and for the defendant, it's really sad because, um, you know, he's got a young baby. And he's got a, a new uh, either wife, fiance, girlfriend, I don't know, it's the mother of his child. They walked into court together. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rough. But you know who it's really rough on? The family of Raul Ortiz, who have been through this for six years. Take a look at them in the back of the courtroom. You don't even need to see the rest of their faces. Just look at their eyes. I mean, they've been through it for six years. Nothing's going to bring back uh, a Raul. Nothing. But they got a slight slice of justice today. And it, it, that's the real heartbreak for me. That's the real heartbreak. Because this was, again, all over absolutely nothing. Now, another big part of this case um, is, is the reaction of everyone involved. And, of course... Court TV crime and justice reporter Julie Janae was at the courthouse and has more for us tonight. A Hillsborough County, Florida jury has returned that verdict of those two of the three counts against Aaron Robinson as charged, first degree felony murder and burglary. And today in the courtroom, we saw a different gallery behind these defense and state tables. Behind the state's table, the victims, there were more people there that were anticipating these closing arguments and the possibility of a verdict in this case. On the defense side, a lot more people there showing their support for the now 25-year-old defendant who was first charged when he was 19 years old, including his baby and the significant other female that has been there with him now a couple of days for this trial. The jury returning that verdict, and we saw that emotion. First, from the victim's family, a little bit more subdued as they just took in the statements from the clerk who read those into the record. We're not sure if they were able to understand them immediately because they did have a victim advocate there with them translating a lot of this trial, but they have been waiting on justice and finality in this case for the last six years. And on the defendant's side, a lot of tears, people running out of the courtroom in shock over this verdict that was for the first degree felony murder in comparison to the plea deal of 15 years that the defendant turned down, hoping to take his chances at trial. State Attorney Andrew Warren said that the victim's family is satisfied with this verdict. The family is satisfied, and this is the right decision. This was a brutal attack on Raul, a much older man. And it took six years for the victim and his family to get justice, uh, but we're, we're relieved that that's, that was the jury's verdict today. The defendant is going to be taken to the county jail. This is one of the first times that he has been behind bars since this happened. He has been out on bond for these charges that were against him. His sentencing hearing is scheduled for November 23rd. He faces for those two counts that he was found guilty of up to a maximum life sentence without parole in prison. Vinny, back to you. Julie today at the courthouse and life without parole. And, and the plea offer was 15 years. And we saw that whole hearing before the trial started where the defense was like, well, we'll, we'll take five, but we're not going to take 15. All right, well, okay, this is what happened. Now, a lot of people are misperceiving the whole process of how that works with plea offers and trials and how much time you end up doing. You know, I've been listening for years and years and years from the criminal defense bar. Oh, those prosecutors, they hit you with the trial tax. Or the judge throws the book at you. If you go to trial, you get penalized for exercising your constitutional right uh, to have a trial. 